this spot. Frustration from student athletes and families forced to decide state playoffs or graduation ceremony. I'm Cher Park live with that story coming up. KSL Live at 5 starts now. Good evening. KSL on Flood Watch tonight as warm days continue bringing snow melt down the mountains. All of this water is bringing flooding and even sinkholes to unexpected places. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Let's go to new special Shelby Lofton right now to start things off. She's in American Fork where city crews and golfers are keeping a very, very close eye on a sinkhole. The director of public works here in American Fork told me crews did walk this area and they inspected this pipe in anticipation of high runoff. It wasn't considered a flooding hotspot until this Saturday. New drone video of the sinkhole shows the waters rushing as fast as 575 cubic feet per second. American Fork Public Works got to the sinkhole Saturday afternoon. They said they found a breach in the pipe when they got there. Moments later, the culvert came out from the ground. They said they think a log came down from the river and possibly damaged the culvert or blocked water until it became overwhelmed. They removed the pipe, causing more earth to give way. Since then, they've brought in rock to stabilize it. The city says the water is increasing in volume and it's raging. We'll monitor and make sure it doesn't get worse. If something changes, then we'll have to address that. And that could be bringing in more rock at that point. Coming up on KSL 5 News at 6.30, I'll tell you how the game of golf has been impacted by this massive sinkhole. I talked to a board member here at Fox Hollow. He told me when they expect the 14th hole to be back. For Live at 5, I'm Shelby Lofton. Shelby, thank you. We'll take a look at this for tomorrow. Mixed emotions from student athletes all around the state as state playoffs overlap with graduation uh, ceremonies this week. New specialist Shara Park joins us live from Tooele High School. And Shara, this could impact players on the girls' softball team we hear. Yeah, frustrating situation for many seniors. We've got five seniors on the Tooele High School softball team. And if they win tomorrow, Mike and Ashley, then they advance in the state playoffs to a game on Wednesday. And that means they will miss their graduation ceremony. So they will not walk with their classmates. Now, we caught up with the team at practice today. And they are trying to stay focused despite feeling frustrated about the scheduling conflict of these two events. But what's happening to the Bulldogs is happening to seniors on some soccer, softball, baseball, even lacrosse teams all over the state involved in playoffs this week. I talked with Tula's head coach. She says while the timing is unfortunate, she knows the school district and the Utah High School Activities Association is doing what it can so that these student athletes feel celebrated. The seniors are a little torn. They're a little frustrated. So we're trying to talk them up and let them know that they're going to have um, on fields festivities for them and it'll be handled it'll be special yeah. even though they might not get to walk with their class now we did reach out to the utah high school activities association about this conflict the scheduling conflict they issued a brief statement saying that uhsaa is working with districts to create a special graduation experience for student athletes and their families at the tournament venues now the coach of the team tells me uh, if they advance, the girls will wear their caps and their gowns on the field in the beginning, so they will honor them. They'll have their own little special celebration there. And while it is something that some parents are very frustrated about, ultimately what they hope is that the Activities Association for the state will work more closely with the district so that uh, these schedules don't overlap in the future, so families do not have to make this choice between walking with their classmates and being at a high school playoff, which, as you know, Mike and Ashley, both events very important to student athletes in our state. Back to you. Yes, it is. All right, appreciate that, Shara. On the road to zero fatality. Tonight on KSL 5 News at 6, like a hot knife through butter, rushing water is carving up much of Utah tonight. Team coverage as roads and golf courses get swallowed. Crews are working around the clock to protect your property. Where people operators are pulling out debris day and night. Plus, just weeks before his big concert, Utah's Post Malone is off the schedule. The explanation from Hive Music Festival organizers and the make good for ticket holders. Also forced to choose. The seniors are a little torn. They're a little frustrated. The impossible decision for some members of the class of 23. The big game or graduation? And why can't they do both? From golf courses to basements, Utah's excess water starting to carve its way through unexpected places. A string of warm weather 
Days is bringing record snowpack down the mountain in a hurry. We have team coverage now on Flood Watch and the impact. For some talented students at Davis High School. Caught between a rock and a hard place, the impossible decision facing plenty of Utah high school seniors tonight. The big game or graduation? Also a neighborhood threat no more. Mixed emotions from student athletes all around Utah as state playoffs overlap with graduation ceremonies this week. Uh, new specialist Shara Park joins us live from Tooele High School. Shara, this uh, could impact players on the girls' softball team there. Yeah, good evening, you guys. If the Bulldogs win tomorrow, they advance in the state tournament to a game on Wednesday. If that happens, five seniors from the team will miss their graduation ceremony. We caught up with the team at practice today, and they are trying to stay focused despite feeling frustrated about the scheduling of these two events. But what's happening to the Bulldogs is happening to seniors on some soccer, softball, baseball, and lacrosse teams across the state involved in state playoffs this week. The seniors are a little torn. They're a little frustrated. So we're trying to talk them up and let them know that they're going to have um, on fields festivities for them and it'll be handled it'll be special yeah. even though they might not get to walk with their class. The Tooele County School District says while the timing is unfortunate they're doing what they can to ensure that the student athletes who miss graduation feel celebrated. As for making sure this doesn't happen to families in the future well the district says that's complicated. We set our calendars so far in advance like two years basically for the district calendars okay. so it's really limited on what we're able to do that way. We would love to but our priorities make sure we get the right school days and hit all those breaks. So it's a little challenging that way. We've heard from parents in multiple districts frustrated about this scheduling conflict. They hope that the Utah High School Activities Association will work more closely with the districts when it comes to scheduling these two big events so families don't have to make this decision in the future. We reached out to the Utah High School Activities Association. They tell us that they are working with the districts to create a special graduation experience for student athletes at the tournament venues. In Tooele, Sheriff Park, KSL 5 News. Tough decisions. All right, Cher, sure, thank you. An incredible honor tonight. You're watching KSL News at 6. City crews in American Fork keeping an eye on a massive sinkhole. It has taken over a section of the Fox Hollow Golf Club, and it's stabilized at least for now. Safe to say, though, there's a new water feature yeah. going on. <laughs> As new specialist Shelby Lofton tells us, it, she tells us it's impacting the game of golf. The earth underneath the 14th hole here gave way Saturday afternoon. The golf club tells me they think they'll have it back by the end of this week. I come for the scenery. Fox Hollow Golf Club has a new addition to its course. This just provides a little extra water hazard that uh, people are going to have to get up and get over. American Fort Public Works says it's likely thanks to a log that went down the river. Either causing a leak or bringing in part of that culvert that just you know, um, exasperated the situation, started blocking water, and then it just became too overwhelming that it gave way. Within moments, the culvert came out from the ground, making the sinkhole even bigger. It is something. Well, we had to close the full back nine because when it first happened, there was water here and over on the other side. Now the damage is limited to hole 14. We did bring in some rock and riprap to help stabilize the walls. Working on the sinkhole causes more pieces of earth to fall away. I don't know how they'll rebuild it. Maybe we'll go up and over a bridge. They can't permanently patch it up until the runoff slows down. The club is optimistic. Hopefully by the end of the week we'll be able to open it up as long as we can keep people safe. Bringing in heavy equipment and backfill is a ways out. Golfers will adjust. This is a unique situation. The public works director told me it'll be two to three more weeks until they can do permanent repairs out here. For now, they're checking on this sinkhole every few hours. Shelby Lofton, KSL 5 News. For now, it looks like a selfie's dream, right? Yeah. <laughs> the place for pictures. When news breaks, there still are nine potential areas of concern. KSL is on the scene. The golf course and city crews are going to be out here daily. Stay with KSL TV and radio. Loading up the heavy sandbags into a bulldozer. Your breaking news leaders.